Hey guys, Mike the Gaming Dad here, and welcome back to the channel. We're on episode 6 of the Survival Mode Let's Play now. It's a uh, Sunday evening here at the time of recording this, so I hope everyone has had a good weekend. Um, we ended episode 5 in Winterhold, didn't we? Uh, we travelled up here as part of the Elder Knowledge uh, quest, whereby we needed to locate an um, Elder Scroll, I think. Oh yeah, Elder Knowledge. Um, I was thinking about the Let's Play whilst pulling together my latest build guide that I posted on Friday, and there are a few things uh, I had on my mind I wanted to hopefully get done during this episode as well. Um, the first is a bit of inventory management. Uh, I remember we were hitting our limit a few times in the last episode, weren't we? So I wanted to try and get that under control. Um, yeah, like uh, now we're on 185 already, for example. So um, someone actually mentioned in the comments on the last episode about arrows, which is actually quite a good shout, actually, because they do uh, take up carry weight, don't they, on survival mode. So, yeah, we've got... And we, we are carrying quite a few. So I think we're probably at the point in the Let's Play where we can probably ditch iron arrows and be a little bit brutal uh, so I think we'll probably get rid of those and try and transition onto steel at least probably use some of these fire, fire arrows as well actually um, and the other way that I think we can probably get rid of some uh, carry weight is to uh, reduce the amount of potions that we're carrying because we are carrying quite a bit aren't we um, so we have been using healing magic on this let's play um, so I should probably really, and healing magic doesn't obviously cost anything to carry it, so and we don't really need to be carrying all these healing potions as well. So I think let's be brutal there as well and probably try and get some of this down and that'll probably help, um, which will be good. Uh, the other things that I was thinking about is, I think it was episode one or two I mentioned about a fur set didn't have fur armor which we have kind of been using um, but then I never went and picked up a fur helmet uh, we've kind of just been using this imperial light uh, helmet which um, is uh, oh, did not mean to press that <laughs> oops uh, what did I yeah sorry wrong button um, yeah we've been uh, wearing this imperial helmet which it doesn't look too bad but kind of cramping our style a little bit so um, yeah look we will go and get the a fur helmet um, the reason why I'm I think it's probably a, a kind of thinking about it now is I remember from the last episode I think we just passed level 30 didn't we in our light armor skill yeah so level 31 so we can actually get this perk at this point um, so obviously yeah having all four pieces of fur helmet will actually make a difference um having all four pieces of fur armor sorry so i think yeah let's try and get that as well if we can in this episode there is a fur helmet uh, someone did tell me this in uh i think it was one of the comments in one of the early videos but there is one right near uh white run uh, in i think it's called white river watch isn't it which is one of the caves about there so yeah we'll leave a custom destination on just to try and sort of remind me and prompt me that we need to visit that location uh, to pick up uh, one of the fur helmets um, the other um, thing that I want to do is a bit of training um, again someone mentioned this in the comments in the last video and I thought it was quite a good suggestion so our armour leveling isn't doing too badly actually it's keeping pace with our um sort of combat skills uh, maybe a little bit behind what i'm going to do is i'm going to use some of our gold that we've got because we've got like six thousand gold here i'm going to use some of our gold um, and just buy a couple of light armor skill points just to kind of keep it built up uh, there are a few um trainers that are not too far away so I think the nearest one f to us, once we've done this quest, we'll basically be heading down here. Um, and we'll probably get to, Windhelm will be the first like major settlement we'll get to. And there is actually a light armor trainer there. Um, one of the Argonians at the docks, I think it is, scouts many marshes. Um, so we'll, we'll visit them 
And the other skill that I'm really conscious that I need to kind of keep on top of is uh, smithing. So normally, if I was just playing, I'd be gathering mat smithing materials and probably doing like a bit of mining and things to try and keep this built up. I kind of don't want to do it in a way in the Let's Play because like no one wants to watch me gathering iron ore for 40 minutes. So I think we'll buy some training as well to try and get that up and that will help us as well because then what we can do with us when our smithing is higher is we can put more we can hopefully level up this a little bit more which will help us because at the moment it's kind of been this way for about four episodes hasn't it because i've not really been doing anything with smithing so um and in terms of trainers i don't think there's any that are nearby there's definitely not one in windhelm there's uh eol and gray main isn't there in um white run so that might actually work if we go in here um and then there's also is it balamond in rifton i think he trains smithing so we might we may get to rifton um yes and that's i think that's pretty much it they were kind of the sort of things i was just kind of thinking about as i was pulling together my last guide um we will use one of our campsites as well by the way on this path here i have mentioned it a few times we have got uh, a campsite down here what i want to check actually as well is if we put a campsite here does this then take this one off because I, for some reason i didn't think it did but then we had a camp up here didn't we that's now gone so it's making me think maybe you can only have one for some reason i thought you could have lots i don't know why um so yeah and we're about seven minutes in now so i'll uh yeah stop rambling on and we'll uh progress but yeah i just wanted to kind of sort of get my thoughts out on other things that i kind of wanted to try and get done in this episode if possible so yeah so let's uh crack on and head to the uh college what do you need? i do like that uh, feral is always kind of out here cross the bridge at your own peril the way is dangerous and the gate it's like open. um it's you like not gain entry is this just her job, just to kind of stand out here now? Make sure none of the uh, angry Nords get in. Uh, why are you out here? I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is... Yeah, I think she's literally just been out here for days, hasn't she? Uh, may I enter the college? Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? I just wanted to see what it looks like inside. Um, I seek the knowledge of the Elder Scrolls. Do you? It is true there are some here who have spent years studying the accumulated knowledge of the scrolls. But what you seek does not come easily, and can destroy those without a strong will. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. <laughs> I think we both know I'll succeed here. I don't think that's going to work. I've definitely tried that a lot. Um, would you grant entry to the Dragonborn? That's probably the one we should go with, really, because, yeah, she's not going to want to see uh, Restoration, is she? Even though it's a valid school of magic. Dragonborn? It's been so long since we've had any contact with the Greybeards. Do you really have the voice? I would be most impressed to see that. Well then, uh, I think we can definitely do that. We should probably shout unrelenting force, shouldn't we? Rather than become ethereal. Yeah, we'll do this one. It doesn't actually say what she wants to see, but... That'll do. So the stories are true. You are Dragonborn. Normally, you'd need to show some aptitude with one of the schools of magic, but you... I think there is much that we can learn from each other. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabelle Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. I am good. Glad we straightened that out. 
Uh, that was weird. Was he like pleased that I just like shouted in a uh, Feralda's face? Feralda didn't really want to let me in then, did she? But she was just thinking if I let him in, then it'll mean I can get out of the cold because I've been here all all week. There is a mod that fleshes out Skyrim, isn't there? Like puts more NPCs in it, but th this is this is the place that I always wish had more NPCs. Like in the vanilla game, like it's got literally three other students. Like that's it. And what's funny is, is only one of them is only a Nord. So like if the uh, if the Dark Elf and the Khajiit weren't here, there'd literally be like one ra one student. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes, of course. You don't actually have to talk to Mirabelle, so we will um, we'll just skip past that bit and go straight to the library. The only real benefit of doing it is you get um, you get robes, but uh, yeah, we don't really need those. Let's go chat to her. Skyrim's angriest orc. I don't want to see you. You are now in the Arcanium. Of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? Uh, you take your work very seriously, don't you? Of course I do. If I didn't, most of these books would have been burned to ashes or dissolved to nothing before the Third Era. How old be are you? To be Before the Third Era? Uh, I'm looking for an Elder Scroll. Let's cut to the chase. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking Just a bit of light about? bedtime reading. Or are you just someone's errand boy? That's a bit harsh. Uh, of course I do. Do you have one here? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. Yeah, well, you've never met me, have you? Uh, do you at least have any information on them? Of course. I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Is that it, isn't it, I think? Fight yeah. Well. Fight well. Right, bring me the, uh... Bring me the books. Restoration is a perfectly valid school of magic, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Oh, hi, Claire. I didn't see you there. Uh, effects of the Elder Scrolls, Ruminations of the Elder Scrolls. This book is, like, insane, isn't it? That's the one that's written by, uh, Septimus. Yes, yeah, one. Uh, uh, if you haven't read this, I recommend reading it. It's a. Uh, it is truly something. I'll just read the first few sentences. Imagine living beneath the waves with a strong-sighted blessing of most excellent fabric, holding the fabric over your gills. You would begin to breathe, drink its warp and weft. Uh, yeah, it doesn't get much better. I'm afraid. We can actually ask the orc about uh, that book now hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection it's going to stay pristine uh, this Understand. ruminations book is incomprehensible ah that's the work of septimus cygnus he's the world's master of the nature of elder scrolls but well he's been gone for a long while too long where did he go somewhere up north in the ice fields he said he found some old Dwemer artifacts. When he first said he'd been well, gone, I thought he meant like mentally, like he was like, gone, uh, judging by his book. Since. Right, so now we need to find Septimus. Why are my research materials constantly disappearing? Uh, I have no idea, Colette. Poor Colette. 
see, we actually understand Colette, aren't we? Because we, we are a Nord who uses um, restoration magic and only restoration magic, so... I believe I've made myself rather clear. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find a balance. Let's go find the insane Septimus. I think we can jump off it, can't we? Uh, we probably need um, become ethereal selected, actually. It's definitely a quicker way than uh, walking all the way around. There we go. I was a, I was panicking a bit there. I thought because we've only got the first uh, word, are we gonna? Is it gonna last long enough before we hit the ground? <laughs> That'd have been a an interesting start to the uh, let's play episode. Dead, dead after fifteen minutes because we've jumped off. Oh, that wasn't very clever, was it? I forgot that the uh, water makes you uh, affects you. Sorry, you. We are now freezing. Is there a way we can get round without touching the water again? I don't think there is, is there? I think, I think you have to get, you have to swim through it. It's that, uh, he's there, isn't he? He's in the... Yeah, it's this, uh, this uh, iceberg there. Probably should have brought a uh, torch or something to keep us. Oh no, it's this one, sorry. Uh, not that one. Right, hopefully he's got a fire inside. built eh? no more could be placed it was and is the maximal apex he re he's like he is a he's a character put it that way i heard you know about elder scrolls elder scrolls indeed the empire they absconded with them or so they think the ones they saw <laughs> The ones they thought they saw. I know of one. Forgotten. Sequestered. But I cannot go to it. Not poor Septimus. For I, I have arisen beyond its grasp. Are you, <laughs> are you all right? Oh, I am well. I will be well. Well to be within the will inside the walls. So, where is the scroll? Here. Well, here as in this plane. Mondas, Tamriel, nearby. Relatively Nearby, speaking. it could be anywhere in Tamriel. On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. Uh, can you help me get the Elder Scroll or not? Now, don't make me hurt you. We're not going to resort to that just yet. Can you help me get the Elder Scroll or not? One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. What do you want? You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. 
Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> where is this Black Reach? Under deep, below the dark, the hidden key, Tower Zark. Offhand, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits. And Brack Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. How do I get in? Two things I have for you. Two Why does he refer to himself in the third person? One round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft. Subtle and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find the Zark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. Right, we don't really need to ask him anything else. I don't think we can leave. I mean, I think, yeah, this guy's like moved in here, hasn't he? But he doesn't have many possessions. I mean, he's got a table and a bookcase. Uh, and, yeah, whatever that is. Uh, probably don't get much sleeping done, does he? He just kind of wanders around. Poor fella. Right, come on Lydia, let's make our way back to where uh, we're gonna have to stop at Winterhold uh, or to warm up before we make the perilous journey down to Windhelm. Uh, because it is yeah, extremely unforgiving. Uh, this part of Skyrim, isn't it? You forget, actually. Well, I certainly have how much uh, Winterhold and Dawnstar affect uh, the player. Um, but the guy that I've just kind of done, I've obviously was playing without. Um, uh, let's uh, sorry, uh, survival mode on. And yeah, you can kind of just do what you want, jump in like the freezing cold water naked, and it doesn't really affect you at all. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I'd kind of forgotten earlier when we came back and you know, when we jumped in that water, I wasn't really thinking. Let's get these skeletons, right, sky temple ruins discovered. Should probably have some of the hot soup actually, the hot soup probably will. Uh, make a difference here, at least getting back to Winterhold. Try and scale. Can we scale down here? Yeah, we can probably get down here. Right, we probably want to go. It's a bit of a long way around that way, isn't it? We probably want to go this way. Yeah, go back into first person. Right, let's um, have some of our... Yeah, we'll have the hot vegetable soup. And that is... Yeah, that's actually made quite a difference, hasn't it? Oh, great. We need to get through more cold water. That should hopefully just be a straight shoe up these hills now. I think winter hole is just up there, isn't it? Oh, 
we're able to get through the water again. Not ideal. We've kind of just abandoned Lydia, haven't we? Every uh, man and woman for themselves. Oh, I covered this uh, sort of scene in my uh, tragic story guide that I kind of did a few months back. Uh, this is one of like the, just the random locations you can find with these two skeletons. Uh, you never truly find out what happened here, but it looks like this skeleton's probably got its leg trapped in the bear trap. And then, um, yeah, maybe, obviously, well, they've both passed away, haven't they? But their friend or colleague or whoever this is kind of sat with them and probably waited with them while they, they passed. Uh, the only kind of clue you've got is this apothecary satchel, uh, satchel sorry, um, with the book Manny Marco, King of Worms, which I think is a conjuration book. So these were, um, like, could have been necromancers or alchemists or something. Um, but yeah, yeah, I do. That's one of the reasons why I, I like Skyrim so much. It's like the level of detail that they put into little things like that. It is. Um, there's loads of little things like that you kind of find as you start trekking through the wild. If you've not watched that guide, um, I was quite pleased with it actually. I'd, I recommend watching it. It's uh, I cover five, five of what I think are like the most tragic quests, and then five like random little Easter eggs. Um, of like tragic stories, that's one of them that I cover in the the, the five. Right, let's go warm up in uh, the the frozen hearth, and then we'll make the journey south. You're bringing me another this round. dude ran me uh, is one of the other uh, tragic sort of Easter egg stories that are um, mentioned in that uh, guide. Sorry, uh, I think it's I can't remember if it's if you speak to him or you speak to you need, this guy, but you basically learn that he he's kind of drinking himself to death because he of his love that he lost. Uh, she, he thinks that she left him, but you kind of find her, the remains of her body inside one of the the, the caves. It's yeah, a really really sad story. You, you can you give him the the news and he that she didn't leave him, that she actually died, and, and to hope they give him some sort of kind of peace and closure, um, so he can move on. I'm just trying to have a quiet drink. Right, we are warm now, so let's carry on our journey. What time is actually 2 p.m.? Yeah, we'll definitely make it south in time. I feel like the weather's changed in the time that we're in the frozen half. It definitely doesn't seem as snowy as it was before. Maybe it's just me. We have just had the same message about the air being treacherously cold, so. Oh, great. Uh, snowy sabre cats do uh, present uh, quite a challenge, so this could be interesting. Should we use some of our fire ar fire arrows at it? Actually, uh, not in apparel. Right, come on, Lydia. We have a cat. We need to get rid of. Oops, sorry, Lydia. Give me your pelt and tooth, Mr. Cat. Who have we got here? Oh, it's this dude again. The Wanderer. Hello, How are you not friend. cold? Now, lucky for you to chance upon a bard on the road. Uh, no, we do not want any songs today, thank you.
is a really bleak part of Skyrim this isn't it there's literally nothing out here Random guard must be guarding the mine. There's a mine somewhere around here, isn't there? Is it there? Whistling mine. I was just thinking, actually, we've. Uh, I'm surprised we've not caught any, uh, seen any wolves yet. Or encountered any wolves, and there's some here. Oh, there was some here. Let's get rid of one of them. Give me your wolf pelts. Uh, where has the other one gone? It would, should be around here. We definitely killed the second one, didn't we? Yeah, uh, oh well. Yeah, I think um, we want to be heading. Yeah, you know, we want to be heading round, don't we? I've been sticking to the path a little bit too much. Uh, I think what I will do, as well as uh, getting the fur helmet and upgrading the fur armor, I'll probably get a second set of light armor because we, we did have the Imperial set didn't we about it I feel like we haven't really been using it we have got some leather pieces already so maybe we can upgrade these and have like a leather set as well for like when we're in the areas that are not as cold oh oh great a snowy saber cat uh, right let's change to our where is Lydia Lydia we need you change to our sword This is this is bad. This is uh, very bad. Yeah, do you know I was saying how oh, we need, we don't need all these potions because we've got healing. So we might need to keep some of the potions. Yeah, what do we have? Anything that's going to improve our light armor? Yes. And this. And this. we go. Phew. That was a... Uh, oh, Lydia shot it a few times. That was good. It came out of nowhere, that that car. <laughs> Glad we had the uh, those potions that I've been... Uh, I mentioned right at the start about getting rid of. Maybe we'll just keep a few of them. For uh, scenar uh, scenarios just like that. We're nearly at Windhelm now. We should probably... Should we camp out? I said we were going to camp along this route, haven't we? But then it's... It is only 3 o'clock. Uh, we can probably do without it, actually. I don't think we need to. We're, we're nearly we're nearly at Windhelm now. Uh, we'll save the camp for another time. It, it is a good route, this, by the way, to put to put one on um, just simply because of how cold it is but yeah we'll, we'll do it next time so we are nearly there now but we are uh, going to come to the side where I think the Argonian oh, I'll more more wolves your weapon has been fully drained now oh, we've reached level 40 uh, that is good because that means we can spend another point 
um, upgraded our one-handed damage, which is good. Yeah, I was just saying, well, I think we, the docks are just down here, aren't they? So we should hopefully be able to get some light armor training in. If he is, if he is here, I think this is where he is. I think he's called Scouts Many Marshes. I could be wrong. It's no secret the RT is doing something. Is this him here? No, Nitro, Nitro Naza. Here we are. Scouts, many masters. We're used to getting by on scraps, but the Shatter Shields want everything for nothing. Uh, no, do not want your life story. I need training in light armor. You'll be able to run circles around those big, slow brutes in heavy armor. Right, so we can probably get all five levels actually we've got definitely got enough gold for it so yeah we'll do that and then our light armor skill is yeah it's keeping pace with our uh, weapons then isn't it which is good which we want which we definitely want and we've leveled up which is brilliant May the earth beneath your feet always soft uh, where are we uh, what's the best way to get into windhelm now i'm going to stop and sleep in windhelm and then we'll snake uh, back round up to Alftand. Uh, can we get down here? Oh, Lydia. Lydia's gone for a swim. We're going to end up in the water again, aren't we here? It's going to be cold. Oh, well. See our health bar draining very quickly <laughs> right here we are Oldest city in Skyrim. Well, oldest Nord city, that is. Horses. All day long. Do you have any idea how dull horses are? I never really use Windhelm um, when I'm, well, in any playthrough, really. I mean, it's quite, yeah, cold, unwelcoming, and quite racist as well, isn't it? I mean, as you, the first time you come in here, you basically see this scene where one of the Dark Elf, Dark Elves is basically just getting threatened by these two men. Angranor once honoured. And Rolf Stonefist. Very uh, upstanding gentleman. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't hate your people. Come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. It looked like those Nords were giving you trouble. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst. Rolf. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. He sounds like a uh, catch. All right, uh, right, anyway. He's... Yeah, let's go... Let's go rest in Candle Half Hall. We'll try and sell some of our stuff as well. Get our inventory uh, sorted out a bit. And then we'll, yeah, go to Alftand. This here's Candle Hearth Hall. Great rooms upstairs, and there's a bed for rent on the ground floor. Uh, what have you got for Let's sale? Save that appetite, hmm? 
Uh, apple pie, we're definitely taking that. What else have we got? Sweet roll, obviously. Uh, cooked beef, we'll have that. Have you got any salt as well yet? Yeah, one salt. Right, I want uh, I want a room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. I think that, that book starts one of the new armor quests, doesn't it? The Crimson Dirks. Right, come on, show me to our room. This is an ode to Skyrim's Here we are. sons and daughters, the Stormcloaks. We drink to our youth. Right, come on, Lydia. We have a single bed for the both of us. Get cozy. Right, we can level up, don't we? So we will uh, we'll put one into we'll put another one into health actually. Uh, and then one-handed damage and light armor the next stage which will, will definitely benefit us when we pick up the fur helmet the age of oppression is now nearly done oh we'll double npcs here in the doorway it's actually one in the morning now, isn't it? I don't think we're going to be able to... The marketplace won't be open. Uh, I wonder if we can sell. We'll try... There is a shop that stays open a bit later, I think. Is it one of the ones that's down here? Uh, no, that leads just outside. At this one. So right, so it is short. We should probably we'll wait because I do I do want to get rid of some of our stuff. I should have slept a bit longer to be honest. I wasn't really thinking looking at the uh, time. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Right. Not, all my goods are legitimate. Nothing is here is stolen. Nothing at all. I like how he has to. Uh, point that out straight away that all his goods are legitimate generally if you have to do that you're probably hiding something take a look right let's get rid of all of these even though he's not going to give us any money for them uh, what else do we want to get rid of we don't really need robes do we but that can go the necklace definitely we don't need scout armor and leather armor so we'll just keep the one I mean I'm gonna I am gonna be selling this anyway because I'm probably gonna keep leather so we'll get rid of that uh, and is there any potions we don't need What are we not going to use? You definitely look like someone who needs skooma. I was saving that for the cats, but we'll uh, give it to you because you look like the type of character that would use it. Uh, restore magic. Uh, resist poison can go. Resist magic can probably go. Uh We've used quite a lot of healing potions just then, haven't we? So I don't feel like we need to get rid of as many as we probably were. Any books? Yes. Uh, do we want the nutty books on Elder Scrolls? Probably not. I feel like we are... We've done quite well though, we managed to uh, clear ourselves out of most of our things. Has he got anything worthwhile taking? Common soul gem. We are out of charge in our weapon, aren't we actually? We don't have any soul gems, so that could be one that we get rid of. That we actually buy, sorry. Has he got any food worthwhile having? Not really. 
flawed Valor, so you can definitely have. Do come again. Uh, right, let's charge our weapon. Dragon Bane. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, it was a, uh, a, a wrong one. It was. Um, I did kind of go massively the, the long way around, but I, I did want to get to here just to kind of level up some of our light armor first. So yeah, we'll, we'll now head up to Alf Tan. Like uh, yeah, apologies, apologies on that little detour. Are we hungry? Yeah. Yeah, where are we? Oh, I keep pressing the wrong thing here. Active effects. Hunger. Yeah, it is hunger, isn't it? Let's just eat. Yeah, cooked beef. Sweet roll. That should be enough. Right, on up to Alftand. I do like the look of Windhelm as a city, but I think it's definitely it looks better from the outside. I think on the inside, it's it's yeah quite dark and dingy and yeah just generally quite unwelcoming, isn't it? see a dragon in the distance we might have to uh, well try and sneak past that uh, but if not we might have to take that down on our journey I covered this location actually in the uh, guide that I just did it's quite a good location just up here past the mill for Nordic barnacles I think you can get about a dozen or so in the little uh, pond, lake, whatever you want to call it, outside Bronzewater Cave. That looks like Alduin, actually. Is he raising a dragon? I think he is, isn't he? raising one of the uh, dragons up. Oh great, here we go. Vinterus. Let's take him down. Right, are you a fire or an ice dragon? Who is he attacking there? I'm liking these fire arrows. What is he after there? Is it a wolf? Seems interested in something. It's not me anyway. Come on Lydia, we can do it. Now he's 
landed. Let's get our sword out. An interesting uh, angle to take for the kill cam. Yeah, we can probably make Lydia carry these scales. Lydia. You are, you are indeed correct. Right, that nice raid. Where's he gone? Hate these things. Absolute pain. Right, Lydia, let us get a move on. We have Black Reach to explore. I spent a bit of time since the last Let's Play episode uh, catching up on events with um, Star field as well I've not really been I, don't, I, I, I sort of look, looked at it when the trailer came out but I've not been paying a massive amount of attention I would say um, obviously when it when it was like it got delayed and it got delayed again I was just thinking like sort of eye roll sort of typical Bethesda kind of thing didn't really yeah just sort of forgot about it I guess because I just thought oh, it's going to be ages before it comes out again but now we have a release date and we've had more sort of teasers and content release uh, I know ESO did a couple of videos on it um, I think maybe about a week or so ago now I think he started uh, and they it actually looks quite good I must admit um, haven't decided if I'm going to do it yet because I think it's going to be one of those games where you really need to delve into um, if, like, it's, it will literally take over your life if you get what I mean um, but yeah I don't know what do you think would it be would it be one that you're interested in I think it's like got a September release date hasn't it so I think it's a while off I guess we could we could sort of factor it in it's going to be a long, long, long time before Elder Scrolls 6 is out anyway, so... And I will need something else to play. Because I doubt very much I'm, I will keep Skyrim. I thought this uh, mammoth was galloping then. Ooh. Angry. Angry mammoth. I wonder why it attacked. It don't normally attack. Lydia, run. Lydia's just taking on that mammoth. Uh, we'll leave her to it. Yeah, I'm going to need uh, something else to play after Skyrim and The Last of Us. So I guess it could be. It could be Starfield when it does come out. Right, we're nearly there now, aren't we? Uh, you don't want to go that way, mate. There is literally a very angry mammoth. No, who's this? It's going to be like a thief or something. Or is it just one of the guards catching up? Ah, Imperial Courier. I thought it was going to be one of the thieves there that uh, says, yeah, alright, hand me your valuables, and then you just kill them. Right, here we are at Al Alftand. Let's 
get out of the cold. Alftand Glacial Ruins. There is a uh, like insane uh, Khajiit in here, isn't there? Near the entrance. I think he's like coming down off Skooma, isn't he? Or his, his mate's trying to get him off Skooma. And got all this blood. Uh, yeah, he's basically like coming down hard. I think he yeah, kills his mate. Where is he? I but you can kind of hear him now. Well, there he is. I don't know if it'll. Um, I'll turn the volume down of the game so you can hear me clearer. I don't know if it'll pick it up on the audio. Hopefully it will, but you can kind of hear him muttering there in the background, going like, Where is it? Where is it, Jizar? Search notes. Dwarves. Torch. We should probably pick that up actually. I feel like I've been talking about carrying a torch for ages and then I've just never seem to get one. You can give torches to your followers as well, by the way. Um, when you hold them, oops, when you hold them, they have a, a sort of a, a shelf life, don't they? they? They only last for, I think it's a couple of minutes, but if you give one to your follower, they last indefinitely. So it's kind of, it's kind of a good way to keep warm. Just stand next to your follower that's got one. So if we find another, actually, we will do that. Lydia out of the way. I'm getting attacked by a lot of these uh, spiders. Uh, right, which way are we going? Ooh, lost my bearings a little bit. I think it's down here, isn't it? Ah, here we go. Another torch. Lydia. I've got your back. How can I serve you, my thane? Right, take one of these torches. Lead on. What? Who is this brother? There he is. The smooth skins looking for ah! death. are you skooma addict you. I should have given him the skooma actually. And do all his uh, brother's good work. Yeah, we're getting a bit of a pound in here. Got him. Yeah, this guy Jazar. I think he's got a diary, doesn't he, that notes his uh, friends. Yeah, sort of come down trying to get him off the skooma. Um, yeah, quite sad actually. Have you got anything worth having? A leather helmet. I'll take that. Let's sell that potion. It's yeah, empty skooma bottle. this if I remember correctly this dungeon it's one of the bigger ones isn't it I mean all the Dwemer uh, sort of locations are quite generally quite big oh 
while they're on side. I was looking over there. I knew one came out of here. I just couldn't remember. What if we fire it at that? Will it light it? Yes, it will. It would have uh, worked better if I'd have done it when the Dwarven Sphere was standing in there. I don't really want to fire again because I don't want to kill Lydia. I guess that is the main drawback of those fire arrows. Uh, they're not, not ideal if you have a follower. I don't think we need this torch anymore here. We are quite warm, aren't we? worth having oh cages within her cages More leather scout armor. Gold diamond necklace. Whipping out that is uh, worth a pretty penny. I need to not pick everything up. Like, remember, come on, don't pick. You don't have to pick everything up. I'm uh, so such a hoarder. I'm looking at all the um, the dwarven spiders, by the way, um, for soul gems. Uh, obviously, we need soul gems for our uh, dragonbane sword, don't we? Um, obviously, I bought one in Windhelm for like 400 gold because they are quite expensive so if I can pick them up for free off the Dwarven uh, Machina then yeah win win really Been this many uh, blocks and stuff last time I came in here. I 
Yeah, here we go. More soul gems. Which is good. Steel plate boots. Could probably give them to Lydia, actually. Although she is, actually, she's wearing the um, blades armor, isn't she, now? So she doesn't really need... Uh, need them anymore. We're uh, getting a closer look at that uh, Dwarven Spear that you just killed, Lydia. is good. Now we have a chest that isn't, uh, doesn't require a lockpick, which is nice. I'll try and get through Black Reach quite quickly actually. Um, there's a lot to do down there, a lot to explore, um, but yeah, we, we definitely don't have time to do it all, so we'll probably just head to where we need to go. Yeah, there is actually a little Easter egg down here, I'll just quickly show you. Uh, you'll find one of the bodies of the people who tried to escape, who was trapped down here, who tried to escape, Endrast with a Falma arrow in his uh, neck. Uh, I'm not going to read his journal, but it sort of details them basically being trapped down here and taken by the Falma. Uh, he tries to escape, um, but obviously gets uh, shot in the process. Um, and he sort of details his friend who helps him kind of try to get out and then sort of stays behind and tries to fight, fight the Falmer off um, but obviously doesn't sort of make it uh, it's quite a sad, sad, another sad story really um, but we'll find her body a little bit later on oh, we've got a sphere to deal with here I feel like this weapon loses charge very quickly, doesn't it? Like, very quickly. Is anyone um, bothered by the view, by the way? I've been playing in uh, first person since I think episode 2 or 3 uh, at someone's request um, and I've kind of just left it at that really but I feel like when I'm in combat, especially close combat, it's a bit hard to kind of follow I don't know if it'd be easier uh, like this um, yeah let me know let me know either way or if, you, if you're just not bothered but I'll play like this for a little bit. I feel like it's... I can kind of see where I'm going a little bit better in here. Better for these bloody spiders. At least they are helping us train our 
restoration magic. Colette will be uh, very happy that we are using restoration magic. I've only just noticed actually the uh, the fire arrows that we've, we've got are actually on fire in our backpack. Uh, that's uh, an, a disaster waiting to happen, isn't it? Probably eat. I think we're hungry, aren't we? Again. What have we got going on? Venison chops. We we have we are down to one sweet roll, Lydia. Times are hard. I think this is where we encounter the Falmer now, isn't it? There is quite a lot down here, if I remember correctly. So we might need. What's this? Reduced weapon. Oh, we've got rock join. Brilliant. Do we have a potion of cure disease? We do. That's good. When did I pick rock join up? It must be from one of the, the beasts outside. Wolves, maybe. Or bears. Um, I'm going to change to unrelenting force, actually. Because uh, the farmer tend to attack in like pairs uh, and the weapons um, they use a lot of poison on their weapons which is like super annoying like way more than like a bandit can would so they, they generally I find they deal a lot of damage especially like up close uh, so yeah unrelenting force is a good can I get down here um, oh, I've got a farmer there. Unrelenting force is a good uh, tool to use, actually, so you don't kind of get swarmed. Yeah, this is that orc I was on about, the one that sort of stayed behind to try and get let Endras uh, escape. I do hate the Falmer. I really hate the Falmer. They're so ugly. They remind me of um they remind me a bit of the is it the white orc or the pale orc in uh, the Hobbit. They're the one that's always after um the dwarf, I can't can't remember his name. Get away from me, you Falmer. Staff of Firebolts. We'll try and, we'll try and carry that into stuff because it's worth a lot of gold. Uh, so we can sell it. Uh, to raise money for smithing training. Something a bit of punishment here. Yeah, this is what I was uh, on about. They do tend to hit quite hard, I find. Falma bow, 22 and 15. What are we... We are 18 and 9. It's a better split, I think. 
the weight um, on bows, the weight determines the draw speed. Uh, so 22 and 15 is actually quite close together. So you do a bit more damage with that, but it'll you'll draw a lot cl a lot um, slower. Whereas although you do less damage with that, it weighs half its damage output, so it'll you'll draw quicker. So actually, your, your DPS on an orc bow will probably probably be higher. That's what makes Zephyr um, or oh, a human heart nice. That's what makes the bow Zephyr so good because it's um, of its draw speed. Oh, we have more fire here. Yeah, I wonder if I can light the fire up and burn them all. That worked. It has worked a little bit. Oops, sorry, Lydia. <laughs> Literally shot that uh, farmer up into the air. Poor oh, Lydia, take him down. He can do it. There we go. I knew you could do it. We got here uh, just mushrooms, which we are not interesting interested in. I think we're nearly here now, aren't we? Oh great, we have uh, magic users. This one is hitting pretty hard, isn't it? Sit down. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to say that. I did not mean to do that one, so I meant to do the health potion. That was uh, silly. We are rinsing our potions here, aren't we? Right, we did it just about. That was a hairy fight. We really, uh, we really went through our potions then, didn't we, Lydia? Hopefully, we won't need uh, need them in the next part. Uh, these are the. This is obviously where they were bringing the these people down. I mean, an unfortunate end for this one here. Whoever that was, Valley has also died. Uh, what have we got here? Anything worth taking? It's scroll of cure wounds that probably will actually be useful. And I think this is all just alchemy ingredients, isn't it? Skooma. Uh, blue mage robes, we'll have them. Magic is draining quicker than normal, isn't it? Oh, it'll be that'll be why. It's because we drained. I was wondering why. I was looking at the bar then, thinking it doesn't normally go all the way down to pretty much zero. 
great. It's Frostbite Spider. Come on, Lydia. Let's take Lydia out then as well. I think we did, didn't we? Hopefully she's uh, not dead. Have I just killed Lydia? Lydia! She's not here, is she? So where is she? It definitely looked like I shouted off I shouted off here and she would she disappeared. But I can't see her. I hope I haven't killed her because that would be uh, not a good. Uh, this would be a pretty dark episode if we've just killed Lydia. Where, like, where's the body gone? That's what I'm most puzzled about. Like, if I have killed her, like, where she, where, where has she landed? Um. Right, let's just try go through this door and see if she comes back. Oh, it's not a uh, not this one here. We'll just try go through here and hopefully she appears. Right, is she here? Yes, Lydia is here. That was very strange. I definitely shouted her off that sort of stairwell uh, that we were on. Uh, I, uh, yeah, glad, glad she survived. I had no idea where she went. No idea. Uh, right, avoid. Avoid the traps. It's just that up there, isn't it? Got another Falmer. Taking punishment, aren't we again? Um, right. What do we want? Resist. Resist cold isn't going to help us here. Fortify health. That's all we've got, really, isn't it? When in doubt, use a shout. Hunger satisfied. It's just our fatigue, isn't it? That's affecting our magicka. Oh no, we have to fight the. Um, we've got to fight one of the. 
uh, big dudes now, don't we? Which could be interesting. Seeing as we've now got no uh, very little healing capabilities. Lady, you're going to have to uh, take the lead on this one, I'm afraid. Elven arrows, they are good. Well, Lydia. We just shoot through its head then. At least with these we can aim higher and it doesn't the fire doesn't affect Lydia. Got it. That went a bit smoother than I was uh, expecting. And here we find the uh, key to Alftand lift, which is good. to here uh, who will now attack you um, uh, sorry they, they do start fighting but um, one of them she's killed him brutal uh, I think it's her she's got a unique shield Umana yeah Yeah, Targe of the Blooded. She has this quite um, gruesome looking shield. Steel plate armor. Is that, I wonder if that's better than what Lydia's actually wearing. 54. Got your back. Let's just have a check. I am sworn to carry your burdens. I forgot we uh, left her with all this mead. At 59. No, that is slightly better still. That just leads out, doesn't it? Yeah, we want to go down. Right, Lydia, come on. To Black Reach. Huh? Yeah, there's quite a lot to do at this location. Um, in that little building there, you find uh, a journal which starts the quest to do with the Crimson... Is it the Crimson Nern route? I think that's what they're called. Um, and then there's the that giant orb in the distance. If you do the full unrelenting shout, uh, full shout at that, you um, it wakes up a unique dragon, which is the only uh, dragon in Skyrim that's actually underground, um, which you fight. Uh, which I covered that in my um, twenty tips video, uh, but we will. We're not going to bother with any of that. We're just going to try and get through this location as quickly as possible. Well, that, well, that, that uh, hurt. That hit. Lydia, deal with this sphere. Yeah, Falmer as well. I feel like we need to charge our weapon again, don't we? Yeah. Uh...
Right, the way we are going is basically straight ahead. We'll try and get through unseen, but it's a bit hard to sneak, I find, when you've got a follower. I feel like they just sort of just give you away. Like, our sneak's not brilliant anyway. It's not like a crazy high. Not great, a chorus. Um, it's not crazy high, but... Um, yeah, when you've got a follower like Lydia in Heavy Army, you just get spotted so much quicker. Right, where is Lydia gone? Is she up here? I'm going to need her to help me deal with these. Where is Lydia? I thought we've lost her again. I can hear her. Oh, she's here. She's getting wrecked by this chorus. Right, we're gonna run. Lydia is down, and we are. There's like five or six of them. Sorry, Lydia. Oh great, two more chorus. It's through there, isn't it, that we're going? Here we are, the Tower of Mazark. Huh? Alright, is there anything that we can uh, steal before we go through? Maybe a uh, nice little healing potion or two would be good. Dwarven helmet, Lydia. Oh, there's one. Oh, no, it's a potion of cure disease. Would come in handy, I guess. I always get confused between this location and the one that looks just like it. You know, the one where you go with the, um, it's got that random wizard. Uh, I can't remember what it's called now, but it's, it's very similar to this. Uh, what do we do? Lexicon receptacle, that's it, isn't it? Uh, right, I can't remember. Just, you just push button the buttons, don't you? And then these ones open up when when ready. It's been a while since I've done this. Now ah, this one's now open, which is good. And then you push this one until that one opens. There we go.
we have ourselves an Elder Scroll. Read the Elder Scroll at the Time Wound. And now we can take our ruined lexicon uh, to give back to Septimus. If we do ever make it back up that way, that is. Is this the right way? Didn't mean to fall off there. I feel like I've not come the right way. I feel like the, the exit is up here, isn't it? Should I, I should have just consulted the uh, local map, actually. Uh, yeah, it's through here. Zark discovered. Is there anything we can cook? Take pheasant roast. I don't think we can cook here, can we? We'll have that potion of stamina. I can hear a dragon. I don't really want to be attacked by a dragon right now. Where we are heading is... This is actually going to take us... By... Whiterun, isn't it? Which would be good because we can stop in Whiterun and do the smithing training that I was on about. And we can also get the fur helmet, which is good. And then make our way up to... Uh, High Hrothgar again. What time it is? Like nearly 11 o'clock at night, so yeah, we do, do need to get a shift on. It'll be nice to be in the uh, more temperate uh, holds of Skyrim and not have to worry about our uh, temperature too much. Oh, we've got some uh, plants here actually. Let's. Uh, we do need to make some more soup, I think. What have we got? Are we, oh, we've got three, but we've got uh, three potatoes, three leeks, three cabbages. What else is it you need for vegetable soup? Is it tomatoes? I think it's tomatoes. We'll grab a few more. A couple of potatoes, a couple of leeks, a couple of cabbages. That'll do. They won't mind. Uh, where are we going? Oh, yeah, white run this way. The place I normally get my iron ore, or at least some of my iron ore, um, it's just over there. 
uh, it's got like like 60 summit 63 or 64 pieces in I think it's like the one of the most populous areas in terms of iron ore um, but yeah I don't think anyone wants to see me uh, mine it all for the next 20 minutes so we'll uh, we'll just buy our smithing training instead I think we're only about three weeks away from the last of us being released now on Steam. Less than less than three weeks actually, two and a half weeks. Um, so I'm excited to start that. I need to do some reading up on it up on it actually before I start the let's play. Because I it's been about seven or eight years since I played it. And I don't want to go in completely cold and like miss things like so what I'd like quite like to do as well, the game's got like various different types of collectibles you can get. I'd like to do the guide as like a let's play but also a like how to find everything that you kind of need. Um, but I, yeah, there is not a chance I'll be able to remember everything. So I do need to do some reading up on it before we start that. Uh, it's not, oh yeah, it's not Breeze Home we bought, isn't it? I mean, I've gone to Breeze Home because Breeze Home is the house that I bought in the, the build guide that I've just uh, finished doing. Yeah, we've it's the one outside, isn't it, that we've got. Right, we will... I think we've... We can just sleep here for free, can't we? Did we do the... Did we do the firewood trick? Yeah, we did. Right, let's uh, let's keep the point for now. You awake and feeling well rested, but you are hungry, so let's make some soup. Vegetable soup. There we go. Soup for days. Yeah, cooked beef as well. We'll make some of that. Don't ask me if I want a drink, Sadia, please. We do this every single time we come here. <laughs> you want a drink? Oh, no. Please. No, I don't. No Honestly. Questions. Come on. And um, I don't need you for anything. It's the Orland we need, isn't it? You have to be. I wonder if you have to be a member of the companions to to get him to help you. We'll see if he's up here actually for now, and if not, we'll join the companions. He's not here just yet. There he is. Good old Orland. Got a lot of steel to shape. Uh, he's not going to mm -hmm. train me. Maybe we do need to be a member. So we'll let's go join up. She was drawing a sword at me then. <laughs> but I still hear the call of a stranger fire. comes to our hall. Um, I'd like to join the companions, please, because I want to borrow your blacksmith. Would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Mm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Master, you're not truly considering accepting him. I am nobody's master, Vilkis. Last I checked, we had some empty beds in your vasker for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Mmm, that apple pie looks good. Anyone notice if I just steal it? 
I've never even heard of this outsider. It is a good place to come, um, this actually, to get a Dwarven bow, or, dwar or not Dwarven, sorry, Elven bow, or any Elven weapons, that is. Yeah, join the companions and then steal them. I think there's, I think there's some in that one there over there as well. Um, I can handle myself. That may be so. This is Vilkas. He will test your arm. Vilkas, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. Aye. Yeah, there's a warhammer in there. And then a sword in there. Just say goodbye to Lydia for this bit, only because I don't want her to get involved and attack. The old man said to have a look at you, so let's do this. I haven't seen just you Just have a few swings have at I? me so I can have see you met? form. I'm sorry. Don't worry, I can take it. How's the new summer? You mate? won't leave here alive. What do you? You're mine. What do you never should have come here? Uh, I mean, you said to take a few swings at you, Vilkas. Not bad. Next time oh, there we go. So I thought he was like actually attacking me for good then. I just make it. But for now, you're still a whelp to us, new blood. So you do what we tell you. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Yorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. Hmm. Right, Lydia, come here. Long lead the way. Follow me. What brings you here? Uh, Vilka sent me with his sword. I'm guessing you're the newcomer then. Uh, does Vilkas always send newcomers on errands? Don't worry too much about it. They were all whelps once. They just might not like to talk about it. And don't always just do what you're told. Nobody rules anybody in the companions. Uh, someone has to be in charge well, though. I'm not sure how they've managed it, but they have. No leader since Yzgrimor. Kodlak is the harbinger, and he's a sort of advisor for the whole group. But every man is his own, every woman her own. Uh, are you a companion? I'm actually a companion myself, but none of them know how to work a forge properly, and I'm honored to serve them. My name is Eorlin Greymane. I work the Skyforge, best steel in all of Skyrim, all of Tamriel. Uh, I'll need to be I have going. A favor to ask. Uh, what I've been is working it? On a shield for Aella. My wife is in mourning and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Aella for me. Uh, I'm happy to lend a hand. Uh, right, we'll take this shield down and then we'll try and get some training. I'm hoping he's going to give us a training after all this and it's not like it locked behind something. Iskramor himself wouldn't have the patience to deal with all the rabble around here. Uh, I have your shield. Ah, good. I've been waiting for this. Good to see you made it up here. You know this one? I saw him training in the yard with Vilkas. Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite the thrashing. Don't let Vilkas catch you saying that. Do you think you could handle Vilkas in a real fight? 
Uh, look at that. I would kill him before he drew his sword. A little bit aggressive. Um, I don't care for boasting. Ah, a man of action. Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. Farkas. Did you call me? Of course we did, Ice Brain. Show this new blood where the rest of the whelps sleep. New blood? Oh, I remember you. Come on, follow me. Come on, Mr. Eyeshadow. Skior and Ayala like to tease me, but they're good people. They challenge us to be our best. Nice to have a new face around. It gets boring here sometimes. I hope we keep you. This can be a rough life. The quarters are up here. Well, sorry, Farkas, just uh, got distracted by, by the apple pie there. Telma will keep the place clean. She always has. All right, so here you are. Looks like the others are eager to meet you. Come to me or Ayala if you're looking for work. Once you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things for you to do. Good luck. Welcome to the Companions. By the way, if you're looking for something to do, we've got trouble right here at Whiterun Hold. Nothing we can't handle. Yeah, a couple of milk drinkers probably, I'm guessing. Uh, what kind of trouble should I expect? The there have been reports that they've been attacking people at night. Uh, I'll take care of it. You could be counted on. Do what must be done. By the way, if you're looking for something to do, kill the leader of Shimmer's Cave. That's actually a little bit harder than some of them. Some of them they're like um, kill a pe kill a pest control, like kill a wolf, uh, wolf or something. Or sometimes you get just like go beat someone up and that tough. But yeah, go and uh, kill the Falmer. That's quite a, one of the harder ones, I should say, that you get. Oh, uh, wrong way. It's this way, isn't it? Got a lot of steel to shape. Yeah, here we go. I need training in smithing. I'll show you what I can. Uh, show me everything. You have. You could actually level up now and then get some more, but uh, we'll do. We'll buy more another time. Don't want to hang around too long. Right. Let's try and sell our stuff now. And then we'll go get a fur helmet. Uh, we'll try uh, Bellathor first. Look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Everything's for sale. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Uh, what have we got worthwhile taking? Soul gems, maybe, maybe not. All right, we don't need that Falmer arrow. Staff of Firebolts can go. Wooden Staff of Chastening, which we'll probably sell that, but he's not really got a lot of gold, has he? We'll see what we can get out of him anyway. Hide Boots of Lifting, Major Stamina. Necklace of Stamina. Gold Diamond Necklace. We are, we're carrying some quite hefty, um, hefty things, aren't we? It's a shame he's not got a lot worthwhile taking. Uh, we'll buy We'll buy these only because we will definitely use them. Get of all the ones that are not full. Uh, scrolls. There's more things that are heavy that I kind of want to get rid of. Mm, 
muscle. It's not worth a lot of money, is it? Yeah, that'll do. Come back. Well met, Kinsman. Right, we should hopefully be able to upgrade our armor a little bit more. Oh no, we don't. That's a shame. We could do the the leather uh, elements though. You're someone who can get this. got some good piece. Take a look. What can we sell you? We don't really need that dagger. We'll get rid of that. Okay, we'll sell you all these pelts as well because we don't need we don't really need them. Don't forget to check Tell you what we will do, we'll we will get more uh smithing training actually. We may as well. And hopefully we can upgrade our armor a little bit. It's annoying that you have to sleep to um to level up. We could have just done it straight when we were at, we were with Eol and so we can do light armor again, which is good. And then what else have we got? Nothing in there. Could do fighting stance, that would be worthwhile. Or smithing maybe. Although we don't really need steel. And restoration is probably not a bad shout. Yeah, we'll keep hold of the next perk point for now. The latest recruit. I never thought they would actually let me join the companions. But now it looks like they're letting anyone. Right, y'all, and more training. He's going to be very rich, isn't he? We uh traveling home tonight with a right wedge. It's an honorable craft. I'll show you what you can. There we go. I wonder actually, do we have any apparel that will improve our smithing? I don't think we do, do we? Are any potions? Oh yeah, we do. We've got blacksmith's draft. That is good actually. I'd forgotten we had that potion. So we should definitely be able to improve our um, stuff, which is good. I'll just quickly go in here actually and see if there's any arrows worthwhile picking up. Ah, hello, my Nord friend. What are you hunting? Never mind. I don't want to know. So he has got, has he got any steel arrows? He's got 60. He wants six per arrow, that's quite a lot. What are we carrying? So we've got 28, 32 and 19. It's not a lot, is it? It would probably be all right for now. Thank okay, we'll leave it. I'm not spending six gold per arrow. Yeah, right. Um, I wonder if we can upgrade our weapons as well. I'll just double check. Oh, so that's Quicksilver. I don't think... 
uh, Quicksilver and Auriculum. We'll just try it. I don't know if I need I Orc, Smithing to be able to upgrade the bow. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Do you have Quicksilver or Auriculum? You have Quicksilver. Uh, no, so you have Auric... What is it? Auric... Auricalcum, sorry, not auriculum. Don't forget to I'll just check to see whether we can do it. Anything. Oh, we can't. Oh, it must only be... Um, it must only be for crafting them, sorry. You can upgrade. Right, have you got any quicksilver? Welcome to war, Wolf birth. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? No. Oh well. Good doing business. We'll upgrade the bow. Have you met my father? Uh, right. Uh, potions. Blacksmith draft. That's that one there. I help my father more ways than people will. And fur armor. There we go, and then we'll keep that one leather to do the fur helmet when we get it. I think there's anything else I can sell here, is there now? Right, let's move on now. Hopefully the uh, Khajiits are outside and we can get rid of some more stuff on them. Oh, no, they're not here today. Right, White River Watch is just... It's basically like um, up there, I think. And luckily the helmet is just inside the door, if I remember correctly. Or I think you might have to kill a few of the bandits early on. See our beautiful house over there, just in the distance. I feel like the render distance is that doesn't seem as good. Seems like loads of the uh, um, loads of the foliage and everything, and the detailing is like missing from that entire part of the map. What's that that's attacking us? Oh, flame trying up. We will actually kill this because we can get fire salts from it, can't we? Which is good. Got it. Right, let's just head up to White River Watch. He's dead and you are next. Get down here. 
Hey, somebody get down here. It made light work of them. Poor Ulfa. I do feel kind of bad that we just kind of killed a blind man, but... Oh well. What's the, what book has he got? Huh? Ulfa's book. I think the fur helmet is just... I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Is that it? Yeah, fur helmet. Hopefully that will now. So we're at, we're at one four five warmth and one three eight armor. One five six warmth and one three six uh, armor. So it's gone down slightly, but it'll probably be because that one's upgraded. I'm assuming. But yeah, the warmth rating's a lot better, isn't it? So. Yeah, I'm glad we've, man we've managed to get that now, I and mean, it will improve when we use our uh, smithing potion and make it better. So that's 136, and I wonder what the leather is at. 160, but warmth is only one is only 96. There's not a massive difference between them. Uh, in armor rating. That's good. We've got uh, we've got our two sets now, though at least. Now let's make the journey up to High Hrothgar. I feel uh, better now. We've got our fur helmet. I tell you what, though, it's not um, it's not doing much for style credentials, isn't it? I feel I feel like this one looks even worse than the. Uh, Imperial one did. I feel like this is a uh, becoming a episode um, pilgrimage. This isn't it, Hi Hrothgar. It's um, yeah. It makes a difference being able to fast travel. Put it that way. We've not really done a lot of hunting, have we, in this uh, Let's Play so far? I spoke about it at the start, about it being useful to do. Um, in like, Well, very useful to do in survival mode. But, um, yeah, hunting and fishing we've not really dabbled too much with. Let's just go in here and sell, sell a few pieces. So much to thank you so much for Sorry, taking Camilla. care of you and me. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Uh, has he got anything worthwhile having? Probably not. He has got some soul gems. They are quite expensive. Guess we could buy them. All right, what have we got that we can sell? Leather, we do need to keep that. I don't think we've got any books worthwhile getting rid of. No, food. We'll keep that in case we need it. Draft of the night, we definitely don't need. I 
Gold diamond necklace can go. How's can that now? Should probably get rid of the woodcutter's axe really. We're not really using it and they're quite they're easy to get hold of. That can definitely go. I'm fed up of seeing it. Uh, let's buy a few soul gems and then get rid. There we go. It's a fine day with you around. Finally managed to get rid of that staff. You're a strapping young man. Don't be a stranger. Sorry, Camilla, we are spoken for. A fine day to you, oh, we, we're not, um, we're not spoken for on this, uh, let's play yet, are we? Sorry, I was thinking of my, uh, the bill guide again where we married Lydia. Maybe we'll, uh, pay Camilla a visit. <laughs> I think I'll probably pause the let's play, maybe at Iverstead, um, all because it's what we're at now. It's been over, definitely been over two hours. I think we are, are we hungry again or just peckish? We'll eat though. I think we're not, um, we're not short on soup are we? It's better than our stamina being depleted. I'm trying to think to where the next, um, bit of the story is after we go to the throat of the world um, what comes after this bit now we are oh, we have to try and find we have to try and learn the dragon wrench out don't we oh no, that's what we're doing now sorry I can't remember what comes after this now I'm just thinking whether it'd be a, whether I should preempt and get the camp set up nearby so we can fast travel to it. Probably be a good idea. I've not got too far to travel now to Iverstead though. Lydia keeping up, yeah. Tell you what, Lydia, you are going to be a uh, marathon ready, uh, running around after me in your heavy armour. Oh, I can get rid of the uh, map marker now. Don't I? Uh, don't think. We, yeah, we don't need it. I'm glad we managed to get most of what I was. Um, fishing in these parts for years. Yeah, aiming to do at the start of the video the things I kind of talked about. Uh, I didn't know whether I was going to get it all done. just taking a little bit longer than expected uh, the episode or at least to get to this point actually but that's because I took <laughs> that's because I took that um quite long detour to Alftand via Windhelm
We always see a rabbit here, don't we? I feel like, I feel like this is a... We had that exact same rabbit here last time. Time is it now? 5:40 p.m. So yeah, it'll be a good, a good uh, place to stop actually. <clears throat> um, Ibstead, and do the journey up to the top in the morning because I don't really want to be stood on the throat of the world again uh, in the middle of the night. Because I think we nearly died last time, didn't we? After after Parthenax's monologue, we were uh, very cold. Right, here we are, the village of Iverstead. Again. <laughs> right, let's stop at the Vilmere Inn. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna pause this episode uh, here. Um, yeah, um, episode six done already. Wow, I can't believe it's, um, feels like it's going quite quickly actually, even though obviously each one's like a week or two apart. So um, if you are still tuning in and watching this then i yeah massively appreciate it and i hope you are um enjoying it um and i will see you next time